All right, this is a test of my version 3 auger with the machine screws going through the auger shaft for agitation and a small amount of thread at the very end for uh, movement into the filostruder. As you can see, I have quite a bit of material in here and we're just gonna kind of show uh, how it works. So I'm gonna kind of hold this up with two hands here and we'll see how it goes before I start things here. Okay, so there we have the auger going. And as you can hear and see, the material is moving quite efficiently. And the reason I put so much material in here is to uh, replicate what it would be like if I were to start a, a filament run. So that's not quite a full kilogram, but it's probably at least three quarters of a kilogram or so. Uh, and this moves material pretty efficiently. Uh, in fact, it'll get through this, this amount of filament within 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, I'm not going to do that for the whole video, but I just kind of want to let it run for a little bit and kind of get a video of how it handles that much filament. So that's when, basically when the screws on the auger shaft are uh, pinching material between the, the head of the screw and the inside of the auger shaft, uh, the inside of the hopper body. Uh, and that happens occasionally. And it's just kind of something I'm living with because if I have the screws too far away from the inside of the hopper, then it won't agitate the material that's on the wall, and it'll just kind of get stuck on the wall. So, but so far that has not shown to be uh, of any severe detriment. So I just kind of let it happen. And as you can see, even during this video, quite a bit of material has moved. All of the, everything in the bag is what's come out of it so far. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and we'll show the tail end of it here in just a few minutes. Okay, so we're down to uh, the last, you know, 10% or so of material. And as you can see, the, uh, the auger is doing a pretty good job here of moving filament. Pretty, pretty free flowing there. Yeah. And you can see the screws there. So you can see what I mean about. the screw pinches a piece of material against the wall of the hopper. And look at that, it's just disappearing down there. Where is it? There we go. Sorry, that's out of focus. I can't focus it when I've when I'm holding up the hopper. But yeah, that is currently working pretty good. So next test is going to be on the machine, and we'll see how well that goes. <laughs> Cross your fingers. <laughs>